Hello and welcome. This is Remnant Mind, and welcome to another episode. Um, we're out here instead of you know starting off in my little starter shack because uh, I want to do some building as opposed to doing um, mining and running around and collecting of the things. Um, so off camera, hi Horry. So off camera, I uh, did a lot more mining. I shouldn't say a lot more. I just did more caving, to be entirely honest. Um, and I got got more stone, um, a lot more coal and redstone, crap ton of uh, iron. Excuse me, I was hiccuping. Um, <clears throat> just trying to get some basic resources as uh, kind of wanna make things look spiffy. Not actually building any houses yet, but I was thinking of designing. That pig just pushed the chicken off the cliff. That's a mean pig. Um, I want to design the walls so I can kind of make out a outline for this little town. Wolf. I should probably tame a couple of these guys and just place them around. Just make sure skeletons don't spawn inside. Um, I do apologize, I am horribly congested. I think I have a sinus infection. Um, so I am all the phleggy and all of the, uh, the congested and cannot breathe. <laughs> I, um, do apologize. So I hope my voice comes across on the, uh, the recording. I I can only do so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. So yeah, what I was what I came up here for was to kind of point out where I want to put the walls with the cursor. Um. Like I had plans for this little cliff tower thing. We're we're just gonna call it a cliff. Um, so it comes down a little bit right over here, so I figured we would extend a wall from the bottom of that out towards where that little sandbar is. And it's not going to be a straight wall. Um, well, not entirely straight. Most of, of the walls I plan on doing around here are going to be just straight walls. Um, mainly because I'm getting used to this and building a full thing with with an audience. Um, so that's one wall. The other wall is a little bit larger and it's pretty much, I should probably go up top so I can point it out better. Um, do do. It's pretty much going to go from here-ish, butt it up against the, the sheer rock wall, or yeah, cliff face and go straight across here, but like, diagonally. I'm gonna have to clear some of these trees out until I build the wall, just so that uh, I can see where I'm, I'm placing things. Um, and there's gonna be like a little gate entrance over there to go towards the mine, and the mine's gonna be outside the wall, um, for just because I think that'd be a little bit more interesting than having everything inside the walls. Um, like, I'm going to have large, mainly decorative crop um, farms on the outsides of the walls, too, because uh, historically speaking, like, the settlement part of a village was walled in, so, like, your houses and your, your main buildings, but farms themselves were not walled in. At least not for small villages, because that just took way too many resources. And um, because this is a starter village, and it's a starter area, it's going to be made with very basic materials. So primarily stone, cobblestone, oak wood, um, maybe some fences, things of that nature. And just basic torch lighting, because I have yet to go to the nether. Yes, I have enough obsidian to make a portal. I just don't know where I want to put the portal yet, which is why I haven't made it or gone into the nether. And I also have not gone exploring in the ocean to uh, find sea lanterns. Um, plus, I'm fairly certain 
this area is slightly landlocked. Like, I have water access with rivers, but um, I have not come across an ocean yet. But to be honest, I have also not explored very far out. Like, I've gone a little bit over there. I've checked out this birch forest. Um, there is indeed a taiga off in that direction. Um, but that's really it, and I haven't come across an ocean yet. Um, yes, exactly. My, my thoughts, exactly. Oh god, they're so loud. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the things that are happening, and, uh, figure, do some of that with you guys. Um, I have, uh, I am so sorry, I am congested. Hi, how are you? What's up? <laughs> uh, I am so congested, and I can't really think straight, which is why we're doing this, like, buildy, talky episode. And I'm sure all of you are going to get a chuckle out of how congested and childish I sound. Because I can't breathe. Alright, so, let's see, how do we want to map this out? Uh, let's get to, alright, so this is the current entrance to my mine. Um, I am going to build, like, an actual entrance. I hear a skelly bob. Where is it? I heard it very nearby, too. Did I not light something up well? I'm gonna look for a skeleton because I can hear its stupid face. Where are you, skeleton? Okay, so it's not over here. Watch, I'm gonna get some. I'm going to get surprised by it later. It's gonna scare the bejesus out of me. Seriously, where is that skeleton? I can stand right here and hear it. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to build it up. Um, usually I do like five or seven blocks for some kind of design for an entrance. And I figure this time will be like a hobbit hole or esque looking thing where it's dirt on top of a, an, an entrance door. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So as long as this is got like seven blocks of space, it should be fine. Um, so I figure. If chop down the trees here, these will all just spawn naturally. I don't feel like grabbing my uh, uh, my stock on. There we go. Um, the shears to get rid of the leaves faster. Ah. That was awkward. Felt like I got pushed by something. That was very awkward. Anyway, um, I don't feel like getting the shears to get rid of the leaves faster. And eventually I will just have a whole bunch of leaves for decorations for other things. Because bushes and fake trees are fun. Organic design building is interesting. And I like doing it. Sometimes I'll make custom trees. Things of that nature. Uh, the only thing I miss from modded right now would be fast leaf decay. Because now I have to wait for all of this to go away on its own. <laughs> So that should all despawn. Is the skeleton over here? No, that's something I've explored already. Alright, so maybe from here ish? Is that a good spot? 
Hmm, maybe. Oh, apple. Uh. Maybe I go from the house. So, I kind of have like this mental pathway. I usually kind of, I usually go in this direction, and then the path I cleared originally towards the mine goes in that direction. So, there's going to be a gate. Oh. I do know with certainty that it is going to meet up with this part of the wall. Let's start there. And essentially, I'm just gonna map out some guidelines. Jump placing! Always fun! Hmm. Seems a bit close to the path I want to do. Maybe we go out farther. So I made a creative copy of this world, so I just took my save file and uh, made a duplicate of it and put it into creative mode. That I um, kind of plan out some designs and do uh, do some uh, very very basic planning of where things can go, will go, um, just to. Maybe we bring this out on an angle a little bit and then go straight? I think that'll work. Yeah. Huh. So, we'll go out on an angle. Here. Huh. Yeah, a little bit more. Um... Just so I can kind of plan ahead without having to do literally all of the planning and guesswork and figuring out where things are going to go. Um, so I can make content for uh, videos faster. <clears throat> so planning something out in creative just kind of helps me figure out where things are going to go eventually. So I kind of have like a, um, a guide. So to speak, giving myself a guide. Yeah, this is much better because then I have ample space for a path and maybe some other stuff here. There's more terraforming that is going to happen. Um, I like terraforming. Uh, er, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is uh plan out the rest of the placement of the walls off camera and I'll come back once I've done that. And we're back. Um, so I kind of ended the wall over here at the river biome, um, which seeing squid spawn in here makes me happy. I can get ink sacks and I have some clay, which is nice. And a little bit of the, uh, the new water stuff, which I haven't played with at all yet. Whether or not I was playing survival or creative, I haven't played with any of the new water stuff. Um, uh, let's see, so, this is where the wall's gonna end, kind of meanders up this way. There are quite a few straightaways, but then I have these little diagonal bits to add, like, depth and interest to the wall. Here's another di diagonal bit. And this is just a guideline, uh, mind you, so this can, the shape can change once I start actually placing blocks. Um, and the straight part of this wall went over like a water, a lot of water. So I just, you know, nerd pulled out. Um, terrain generation is funky. We got floating grass. That's fun. Um, 
So the wall kind of stops right there, and I took down a couple of trees that were here, just so I can see how the terrain of this area is going to be. What I intend to do is kind of like dig down a few spots so that they're at least two or three tall so that mobs can't climb up on this side. Um, take a sleep. Take a sleep. Because I want the outside of the, the city to um, not allow mobs to accidentally come through. Because, you know, that's, that's never fun. Um, I also figure that this cliff is relatively um, a good position for like a windmill. So what I could do is make like a very basic windmill and a bakery over here and have maybe another access point that goes straight out over there to like wheat fields and such. Just so it makes sense, logically. Um, and then the wall continues again over here. This part of the cliff goes this way and goes straight for quite some for quite a bit. This way. It goes this way. And I figure right here is going to be a gate because then I'll have a pathway leading off that direction towards the mine. Um, another diagonal bit over here. Cut down more trees so that I can see where I was placing the wall. Um, I might change this diagonal bit because um, it seems a bit severe. So I might make this straight a bit more to roughly here and then go diagonal towards the gatehouse. Maybe. Not sure yet. But that's it. Um, and it'll end right there. Figured that that would be a good spot. Um, have it end on a flat wall. I plan on building like a manor house. But air quotes, mayor's house up there because I am the mayor. Um, <laughs> With kind of like a uh, town hall thing here, where I may drag all of my little trading villagers up into. I have enough iron now, I probably should make a few um, mine carts and some rails and put them in a centralized location so that I can start building and setting up huts and stuff and get rid of the floating house. Um, yeah, doing all that. Um, so that's the walls for the moment. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, uh, somebody in the comments pointed out a piece of sugar cane. Um, it was right here. I do remember that. Um, unfortunately, it despawned because there's no water source around here. And it doesn't count a water source above it for some reason. Um, so I don't know how that generated. It was a purely Minecraft derp generation, um, but I did know that it was there. It had despawned by the time that um, that video clip was recorded and posted. But uh, plus side is I still on a, a little bit of an exploration kick. I did find some sugar cane. Um, growing right here and along the riverbed. So I have some now, which is nice. Um, I should probably dedicate one of these little planting strips to just sugar cane so I can start making books. Uh, books are helpful for enchanting. I need to dig out these little houses. <laughs> They're still a little derpy being in the ground. Hi puppy. I need to tame you. Uh, actually, let's do that right now. Pretty sure I have some bones. Do you have bones? Yes, I have bones. Puppy! Hi, puppy. Yes. I only took two. Hi! You gonna follow me now? 
Come on. I have to walk pretty far away in order for you to follow me, huh? Hi, puppy. Alrighty. So we're going to plant you near the house. Come here. Sit. Good. I have a puppy. Do I have... Well, let's throw that in there and that in there. Get rid of the wood. Uh, bones can go back. Do I have anything that I can... Dye the collar. Because... Don't particularly want blue. Lapis lazuli. That works. Blue collar. Come here. Puppy. Ta da. Blue collar. I will eventually find a name tag and. and name you. Don't know what to name you. Actually, there's something you guys can do. Give me suggestions for a name for the puppy and and for the horse. So the horse has a lot of hearts. Uh, apparently, I can't jump out of the fence. <laughs> can't jump out of the fence. I should probably put a fence gate so that I can actually run around with the horse. Um, but yeah, throw some uh, suggestions in the comments for names for the puppy and for the horse. And when I get na name tags, uh, they shall be named dubbed as such forever. Um, maybe this one be all the sugar can you know what we're gonna do that now welcome to my squirrel brain this is how I think uh, sugar can I only have 12 pieces um really I got stuck on the edge of the door there we go um yeah, this is how I, my brain processes things. I kind of go, ooh, and then ooh, and then ooh, repeatedly. Um, so we're just going to tear all this up. Do -do -do. Oh, that's right. It needs to be on. Not farmland. Which is fine. Standing on it. Okay, this is faster. Yay. Ugh. Walking in water is very, very slow. Why didn't it pick up the other dirt? That was awkward. Okay, so I have some sugar cane planted. Fantastic. Yay. Uh, that's a start. And I have more wheat to make myself food been living off bread for the moment. That in there. I have so many seeds. So many seeds. Okay. That's that. Alright, so we have the pathway of the wall. So, let me kind of show you the idea that 
I had or have for the wall. This. Yes, I'm using saplings as as fuel <laughs> for quick um, smelting, mainly for food smelting, just because I have so many saplings from cutting down trees, and I still have a full set, um, stack of oak saplings, so I'm not worried about it. I know it's one-to-one, -one, not worried. It's, it's okay. I don't need to be efficient right now. <laughs> uh, whistly nose! Uh, let's turn all of these ones to planks. Because I know I'm going to need more fences. Shift right click. Can I only... Shift right click. There we go. Shift left click. Haha. -ha, I'm doing things. <sighs> that sleep. Sleep is good. Okay. Um, I'm also going to need more stairs. Do that. Those can become sticks. Uh, uh, and Labbies? Labbies. Okay, so do lock those out. There we go. So these four blocks right here are pretty much the materials for our wall. Uh, let's see, where can I start it? Let's start it at the um at the flat cliff wall, because that'll be the easiest way to show the pattern that I was um, figuring out. It's a very, very, very basic design. Um, it tiles well. It doesn't look super awkward when there's elevation changes, so I don't need to dig everything flat, which is what I was going for. Um, but yeah. So what it is, is, is um, the design is technically three wide, with cobblestone solid through the center, and I might change the uh, textures up a bit um, later, but basic ground, groundwork. I'm also not going to decorate the outside of the wall until much later. We're just going to make the inside fancy. Um, so, counting from this block, so you have one. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get hurt a lot because I'm gonna jump down all the time. Ooh, I forgot something. I forgot one of the design elements. Um, and that is cobblestone walls. I'm only gonna grab some at the moment. I don't need to grab all of them. There we go. Uh, okay, so cobblestone, five tall with a cobblestone wall on top of that, all the way at the very end, and um, then there's going to be um, embellishments of the oak log, so let me do like a five length section. Five, two, four, two, two, okay, yeah, that should be enough to show the design a little bit. So while I'm up here, I'm going to throw the cobblestone walls on top of all of the things. 
Copy. So that's the like center portion. Um, now the logs, I don't have to count because it's each and every single one is going to be one taller than the cobblestone block. So it connects up with the wall and then with a slab on top of that. We have that. Very, very basic. Um, and then we have a three block gap in between. Right? One, yep, three. So on the fourth block, do the same thing. Pillar up with oak log, lap on top. Always going one block taller than the cobblestone so that the wall connects. This is just to create interest in depth and different textures. And I'll add um, um, like texture variation with other blocks like andesite and smooth stone, maybe mossy cobblestone if I ever find uh, vines <clears throat> on the inside walls. But for now, this is just to put the basic design in. So we have that. And then, second solid block, upside down stair. Straight across. Whoops. Fail. Fail at placement. <clears throat> Get up there, or do I have the nerd pole? Nerd pole. Here we go. And put slabs across here. Normally they would go straight across if this was not an elevation change, but because there's an elevation change, this is what I'm doing, and I'm gonna fill her out just a bit. Holding. And set a stair. Fail placing. Placement. And speaking, because words are hard when you're congested. Ta-da! Break the scaffolding. Pick up my junk. And this looks a little wonky, um, so we're gonna do that just to bring the pillar down so it shows that it actually has some support. And then fences here and here with a torch in the center. So that's essentially the design. And just repeat that over and over and over. This way um, you get light that is spaced very evenly apart all along the inside perimeter of the village, which will be nice. Um, and this design tiles, so it is a five wide design, and it's three thick, only because of the decorative block. So you have this is decoration, this is the wall, and then the decoration will be mirrored on on the other side. Ooh, hiccup. Um, but yeah, um, so the way that I did the top is to make sure that it is, that it is all spawn proof. Um, that way I don't have to light it up because I don't think it would look good having this kind of design lit up on the top because it wouldn't, it wouldn't really make sense unless I had like towers or something. Um, so having the torches down at the bottom where all of the people would be, so on and so forth, um, makes more sense. Also, this is a nice, like, size where, if I ever wanted to, I can throw banners up just for a little bit more decoration, and not on every single panel. Like, maybe spaced out, maybe two or three. But, um, so that's the design for, for the wall, and that's gonna go all the way around. I'm probably not going to have enough oak wood or cobblestone to finish this. 
right away, but this is something... I apologize, that was my coffee pot. <laughs> um, but this is something that I can work on um, periodically throughout me running around and doing stuff in between episodes and uh, primarily off camera. Um, the gate, on the other hand, um, is a little bit more involved, and I will show you guys that another time. Um, because at the moment, I uh, have kind of run out of time for recording right now, plus I am super congested, and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure all of you can, can hear that, and uh, I don't, I don't want to be drowning on and being congested, and this is not making for good video content. So, I'm going to leave you guys here. This is our design. I'll work on this a little bit off camera between this episode and the next episode. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And, uh, it, let's, oh, F5 is not kind to me. So let's, let's moonwalk. Hey, hey, moonwalking. La, 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 la. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as my congested little hilarity squirrel brain can can give and uh, if you like the content like the episode like my derping give the video a thumbs up maybe a subscribe uh that way you can see more content it really does give me uh oh i am so bad with the f5 <laughs> oh this intro this outro wow outro is horrible yeah <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, see you in the next video.